Just mentioned the search and rescue efforts continue tonight and people in Dundalk are doing what they do. They come together to support each other and the families impacted by this tragedy. Hard to imagine what those families are feeling right now. A church nearby is holding a prayer service tonight. The mayor and Baltimore County executive are expected to attend. That's where WMAR 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington is standing by. Elizabeth, what's going on there? Yeah, people are just starting to arrive here, Kelly and Mallory. And, you know, as we're waiting for any type of update on those six missing workers, a lot of people in this area just don't know what to do. So they're turning to prayer. We're at Mount Olive Baptist Church of Turner Station. It's right by the entrance to the Key Bridge on the Dundalk side. And all day long, we've been talking to people who went to bed last night with a view of the Key Bridge literally in their backyard. And when they woke up in the middle of the night, that view was forever altered. And if it wasn't the loud boom that got them out of their beds at 1.30 in the morning, it was the shaking. A lot of people we talked to said their first thought wasn't, oh, the key bridge collapsed. It was, this must have been an earthquake. Take a listen. My neighbor called me, my husband, and woke him up and said that the key bridge is gone. And my husband said, what do you mean it's gone? So then we immediately got up, of course, you know, Facebook, let's scroll through. And then we got dressed and just walked down and that's when we seen everything. Yeah, it was like the loudest boom you could imagine. I mean, when you hear something like a noise out of the ordinary, your first instinct is to wake up and figure out what it is. So I found out what it was very quick when I didn't see a bridge anymore. And once people in this community recovered from the initial shock, I use the term recovered relatively, but they turned their attention to the victims and the families as we're still waiting to learn about what happened to the six missing people who plunged into the Patapsco River when the bridge collapsed. We talked to a co-worker from Brawner's Builders uh, earlier this afternoon, and he tells us that all of those workers came to the U.S. from Central America searching for a better life for their families, and they've been working hard to send money back to their home countries. And he says three of the missing people are related and all of them have children. It's just really bad because they aren't family, but they are my co-workers. And just last month, I was working on the same bridge, but I was able to change from night shift to day shift. And that was Jesus Campos uh, speaking, and he says that all of the families right now are just waiting idly by for any news. They are just waiting by the phones for emergency officials to call them with some sort of update. But the prayer service just began a short time ago. We've seen dozens of people in the Dundalk community already show up to Mount Olive Baptist Church, and we are expected to see Mayor Scott and the Baltimore County Executive Johnny Ochevsky here. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Worthington reporting live in Baltimore County, WMAR 2 News.